two years ago, um, in the early weeks of the Trump administration, in the spring of 2017, the New Yorker magazine published a story about the new president's business history. And it was a story that was almost too much to believe. Um, and if you, if, you, if, you, if you know me from this show, if you have seen this show before, you may know that one of the things that makes me not awesome at this job um, is that I'm kind of a prude. I am, uh, I am easily embarrassed. I blush and stutter and get tongue-tied when I am confronted with things that make me uncomfortable on TV. And a lot of things, it turns out, make me uncomfortable on TV. Anyway, you're probably aware of that about me and my failures as a TV host. That said, I also think that gives me a little bit of an insight into why some things take off and others don't. I will tell you, ever since that New Yorker piece was published in March of 2017, that unbelievable article in the New Yorker, I have truly believed, as a prude, that part of the reason it didn't take off, part of the reason it didn't become one of the things everybody knows about Donald Trump's business history and his potentially serious trouble in that business history, I think one of the reasons that story has stayed kind of obscure instead of becoming part of the, you know, Trump legal trouble pantheon that everybody talks about. I think part of the trouble with that one is because this is what that hotel looks like. That is the subject of that business story in The New Yorker from two years ago. And honestly, I mean, it's just, I, I, I think this is part of it. I know we're safe to put this on TV right now because it's 9 p.m. Eastern or whatever, but would you even be allowed to put this picture up? like on a morning news show or on Dayside? Why did they build it to look like this? What do the people of Baku, Azerbaijan think about this building in their midst? But this resplendent Georgia O'Keeffe homage is the Trump Tower Baku, or it was at least. It never actually opened. Incidentally, I can also show you what it looks like on fire um, there's actually a bunch of pictures of it on fire, since there are precisely two things this Trump Tower Baku is known for. Uh, one of them is it catching fire last year as it sat empty and unfinished. The other thing it is known for, to the extent that it's known at all, is that gobsmacking reporting that The New Yorker ran about it in 2017, which everyone then promptly filed away, never to talk about in polite company ever again. How could you? Uh, that New Yorker story was the story of the Trump organization, the president's business, developing this would-be orchid-shaped Trump luxury tower in a random corner of Baku, Azerbaijan. They were developing that tower in a business partnership that, for all intents and purposes, appears to have been funded by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. In fact, the Trump Organization's top lawyer, Alan Garten, admitted to The New Yorker for that piece in March of 2017 that the president's business had known as early as 2015 that the money behind that project, the backing for their business partner in that hotel deal in Baku, Azerbaijan, was likely the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. They knew about it as early as 2015, but they kept going with the project anyway. They only canceled that deal. They only backed out of trying to build that thing in Azerbaijan after Trump was elected in December of 2016. And that piece was just remarkable reporting from The New Yorker's Adam Davidson with this um, astonishing bottom line that not only was the president doing business with the Iranian Revolutionary Guard knowingly, his business admits that they were well aware that's what they were doing. And nevertheless, that business deal extended all the way through Trump's campaign for president. As, as Davidson writes in The New Yorker, quote, throughout the presidential campaign, Trump was in business with someone that his company knew was likely a partner with the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. So that story was just astonishing when it came out in March 2017. It is all the more astonishing that today, today, President Trump announced that the U.S. government has officially designated the Iranian Revolutionary Guard a foreign terrorist organization. Um, in addition to the designation, they released a strongly worded statement from the president about how tough this is, 
Quote, today I'm formally announcing my administration's plan to designate Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps as a foreign terrorist organization. This designation will be the first time the United States has ever named a part of another government as a foreign terrorist organization. This action will significantly expand the scope and scale of our maximum pressure on the Iranian regime. It makes crystal clear the risks of conducting business with or providing support to the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. And I kid you not, this is the next line in this statement from the president released today. <laughs> this is remarkable. Quote, if you are doing business with the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, you will be bankrolling terrorism. So that's what this kind of day has been, right? If you're doing business with the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, you're bankrolling terrorism. Throughout the presidential campaign, Trump was in business with the Revolutionary Guard. This is what kind of presidency we're in. This is what kind of week we're going to have. I mean, the president who was literally doing business with the Iranian Revolutionary Guard until after his election as president, that president today declaring, if you're doing business with them, you're bankrolling terrorism. I mean, this is, this is where we're at now. President cracks down on self, declares self to be a despicable bankroller of terrorism. That said, awkward shape of building in question makes it all too embarrassing to talk about, so let's pretend. <laughs> And that's just the start of it today. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.